Okay, so I'm going to do a short video today on the 51 um, Hornet. Uh, a buddy of mine wanted me to do a recording, so I thought I'd put it on YouTube if I was going to do it. Um, it's kind of boring right now, honestly. It's stripped down to nothing. I've taken all the body panels off of it. The front end's all torn off. Uh, but maybe you guys want to see what it looks like. Those of you guys that just have the Hornets and never seen them all stripped down like this before, I'll give you a little little tour. So uh, we're doing re re redone the front end. I mean, I have a video about that if you want to see how I did that or what I did. Um, I would call this a frame off restoration. I wouldn't even call it a restoration because I'm not a professional, but um, I am going to try to redo all the systems because this car has been sitting and who knows what's wrong with it. So I'm not going to chance anything. I'm going to do all new brake lines, fuel lines, electrical, all that stuff. And I'm doing all of it. So it's essentially a restoration uh, by a shade tree mechanic. That would be me. So um, right now I have all the panels off that I can take off of her uh, without having to cut, cut things off. Um, it's kind of a cool car. And for those of you who want to know where the serial numbers are on these cars, on the frame rail, it is right, where's it at here? Right there. So mine is 20, shoot, what does it say? 28980. Uh, so I'll give you some reference. That's right by the firewall, kind of underneath the, the old fuel line here, um, passenger side. So those of you guys want to know where that's at, that's a good spot. To look and of course mine is 28980 oops there we go that's the tag on this one um a lot of this surface rust in this car a lot of this kind of thing going on you know this pitting uh, which is why i'm not going to do i'm not going to call it a restoration because i'm not going to fix a ton of that other than just kind of neutralizing it as you can see i've done a lot of rattle can rust oleum yeah, right there spray paint stuff as it is just to kind of knock it down I am not going to paint it the green that it came as. Uh, I think like there's a, like 151 Hornets that are green out there, so I'm not going to bother with all that. Um, I'm going to do something kind of custom, different, fun. Uh, fun for me because, like I said, this is going to be a fun car for me to drive. I'm not going to try to sell it or anything like that. But uh, anyways, this is what they look like. So the rockers are taken off. The rear quarters are taken off. Obviously, the front clip's taken off. This is my trunk deck. Uh, trunk deck's in really good shape. So I have the, the factory, you know... Uh, I don't know, sound deadener or whatever that is in the back of it. So she looks pretty good. Uh, even the chrome on her looks pretty, that was my light, pretty decent. I already knocked this over once today, so uh, yeah, so it doesn't look too bad. That Again, I get this rusty pitted stuff everywhere. I don't know if just epoxy is going to be able to fix that or I got to do some serious filler or what I got to do to kind of get rid of that. But again, I'm going to use this car as more of a learning curve thing for me because i'm not a body guy and uh yeah I go from there uh, see what works and hopefully with the paint job i'm gonna put on this it won't really matter that much anyways it'll just be it'll just be for fun so all the weather seals are nasty they're all rot dry rotted and coming off uh car probably has 130 140,000 miles on it at least um i did tear the whole entire dash and stuff out uh, this may seem kind of daunting to some folks, but I labeled everything really well. I'm going to redo the wiring harness from scratch. Uh, it really wasn't that hard to get all this stuff apart in here. Uh, the the dash, the dash, I don't know, leather or vinyl, whatever you want to call it, was nasty and all cracked. So that was going to be replaced. So it's one of those things where I'm like, well, I'm going to do this. I might as well do that. If I'm going to do this, I might as well do that. And that's exactly what ended up happening. And so this is all gone now. Um, but you can kind of see, I think, where Hudson stopped at the factory. So you can see the green overspray on the dash here, but then it kind of stops. Oops, there's the light in, in the shot. So I'm guessing this is kind of where it was at when, it, when they shot it on the lines, right? I mean, it's it's not painted over there, but it's, it's got some overspray here. Same thing with the inside of the car. I mean, a lot of it's painted black now because I'm just trying to get some of that Rust-Oleum on and neutralize some of this rust. But you can see the overspray. You know, the jams are sprayed really well, but then inside here, you can kind of see overspray of then the primer, and then there's some green here and there. So... I'm thinking it's pretty much down to where it would be at when it was being assembled on the line. Uh, as far as the floors in this car, they're, they are absolutely pristine. I really don't have any problem at all with the floors. I mean, what you're seeing there is just some kind of dust and dirt sitting. Uh, I did replace the uh, master cylinder already, did some brake line work. But the floors are absolutely solid, no problems at all there, uh, fronts and backs. Um, some of that sound deadener, I just kind of, I'm just kind of leaving it in here. I'm not going to try to tear and goop, all that goop out of there. I'll just put something over top of it. They do have these interesting little drain holes here that came with little metal tabs right here. Um, I have those in the bag somewhere. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that, that those were. Oh, there's some cat food. 
um, what the purpose of that stuff was, but there's one on each side if it was actually just for drainage or something else. I don't know. Uh, of course, they got this goop in all the seams, all the welds, I'm guessing for sound deadening and maybe just for sealing it. I don't know. Um, it looks nasty in here, but it's all really solid. It's just, it's just kind of dirt and dust from the years of being driven. Uh, this thing was full of mud and muck and all the frame rails and all the rockers, which is why the rockers rusted out. And you can see the rear deck there. That's all painted green, too. So I'm guessing that was all painted green at the factory as it went. Um, a lot of overspray on the inside. Uh, but everything's really solid in this car. I really don't have any complaints at all with the, with the frame other than the rockers. Uh, this is all the crap that I pulled out of the rockers. They must, they must have stuffed all this rubber and this filler in there to kind of keep the mud from collecting, but it didn't work. Uh, all these frame rails, these are all full of mud all the way back on both sides. Uh, you had the power washer out, and actually there's still some hickory nuts in there, it looks like, from the squirrels and from the mice. So it's been a constant battle just to keep those things cleaned out because they were absolutely hot, packed full of uh, southern red mud. This was a North Carolina car that I bought in South Carolina, and now it's in Michigan. So there you go. Uh, again, pretty solid everywhere. Now the problem I really had was down here where the rear uh, quarters screwed into this right here. This is, this is a little more hefty metal right here with the, along the frame rails here. But you can see how some of this has just kind of got away from it, got rotted off. A lot of these screws, when I went to go undo them, just popped right through and fell out because the quarters are bad. And I'll show you a video of that in a minute. All this weather stripping and stuff or sound deadening or whatever that, that was on the inside here is all trashed um but i can get all that stuff um these little back pieces aren't terrible they don't have holes in them but they're pretty rusty so i think i can just neutralize them hopefully fill them and paint them that one bumper's being a bear so i haven't gotten that off yeah this uh this bolt right here is rounded off so it's not doing its job and just coming out like it's supposed to uh rear trunk pretty good shape again i mean there's some surface rust everywhere on this but i'm just like i said there's no holes the gas tank is in absolutely great shape. I'm just going to use it, uh, do some restoration, uh, you know, with the chemicals and and reseal it. So that's not going to be an issue. Uh, this car did get pummeled somehow right there, really badly. Now I didn't notice that. Maybe the fenders came off and they put them back on again after it happened and, and put better fender or, or quarters on it. But that is pretty significant. So you know, that's what it looks like now. That's what it's supposed to look like, kind of thing. Um, uh, yeah, so, and again, back here, you can see the overspray on the back deck, probably from when the factory, you know, when they painted it green, they just, uh, you can see the primer and then the green. So I'm guessing this is down, like I said, down to where it would be at when it was sprayed at the factory. Um, of course the window seal back here is all trash too. So be redoing that. I was not going to let that one go because the window, uh, the seal back here was really, really crusty and dry rotted. So that was not going to work at all. The front ones, at least I think they can deal with it. So I'm still going to have to deal with this, this surface rust, this deep pitting. This is everywhere. From everything I've been reading online, you guys have better ideas, please let me know. Uh, I can probably do the, uh, the, the rust encapsulator and then go back over with some really light filler, and that should do the trick um, to fix all this. You know, I, want the, I, want, I don't really like Bondo. I don't really like doing that. I'm going to try to stay away from that. But I think in, in some of the videos I said that seeing that even – the encapsulator might be enough or thick enough to fill these pits in. But again, that's only something I'm going to kind of test and, and play with and maybe let you guys know what I come up with or what I find. Uh, again, I'm not a professional, but you never know. Uh, maybe I'll find something some other guys didn't. Yeah, so this is the this is going to be the fun part. I really haven't even thought about how I'm going to bang this back out or what I'm going to do here or even how this would have happened, honestly. I mean, this is maybe the, the the wheel busted off the studs and jammed up inside here or something because the quarter panel didn't show any any forms of damage the frame's fine so it doesn't look like a collision um yeah so i don't know i don't know how the heck that happens unless like i said the wheel came loose and jammed up inside there and ripped it up i mean i don't know who knows it's hard to say but again uh surface rust kind of everywhere and these little back panels but these i think they're solid they're not they're not showing holes but it's the bolt up areas, right? It's these spaces where the quarters bolt to these. This is thin, right? Because you don't you don't even see this because by the time you get the quarters on this and the trim on it, you really don't even see this stuff. So I'm not worried about you know making it look pretty, but I'm worried about it being functional. And holy cow, that's that's thin, right? That's some thin metal. So I don't know if I need to try to tack some 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 metal in there just to kind of make it functional or what I need to do. And of course, these brackets are all rusted. These are all trashed. 
God, I wish someone you know made these. I've I've manufactured these before. They don't look good, but they're functional. You know, <laughs> you, you bend some metal and you you spot weld it on here. It's good enough to keep a piece of trim on, and that's really all it's supposed to do. But yeah, they don't look good, and they never look like they're factory for sure. But um, even with those problems, the same problems over here on the oh, I'm gonna turn the camera. I keep doing that. Same thing with these. These just came right through the quarter panel. They just they just they just popped right through because the quarter panels are rough, and they have like little nut plates in the back sides of these or that, that hold them in back. But the frame is good. Like there's not there's plenty of meat here in the frame. I shouldn't have a problem, you know, like I said, neutralizing the rust on this and and getting back to it. And this frame on this side, of course, was full of mud and, and hickory nuts and everything else too. Um, just kind of finishing up this side of the car. It's pretty good shape. This is the really you know, only bad like ding ding i might even mess with this and just leave it you know leave it and just paint it i don't know like i said what, what i'm planning on doing with this car as far as painting it and coloring it you know imperfections like this aren't going to be an issue uh because it'll just kind of add to the car i think so i'm not worried about it other than just like i'm not going to fill that full of bondo i'm not going to spend a ton of time trying to bang that out make it look right because it never will look right so maybe i'll just leave it i don't know uh body panel wise so i'm, I'm kind of squeezing myself in here here's the hood deck the hood is completely gnarly up front rusted through this is the worst part of the whole car i was told that this sat in a barn with the nose end hanging out and so uh yeah so that's what happened they, uh, that all got rusted um now the rear quarters to show you what i'm talking about they don't look bad again a lot of the pitting and stuff going on but once you get down to where they actually bolted on yeah, that's that's not good, right? So this is all, you know, this is all flaky. This is all bad. So I gotta, I gotta. I mean, I just can't see me filling this, bondoing it, anything like that. It needs to be, it needs to be replaced. It needs to have a piece of metal, probably welded in here. Um, it feels like there's pretty decent steel back back here farther, but then I don't really like getting into where these trim pieces go on and I don't know. I'm just, I, I'd like to find some, some good ones somewhere for sale and just put good ones on here. But I, I'm guessing these all kind of rot in the same spot. Um, yeah, cause this is not, this is not workable or doable. Even, even with what I plan on doing, which isn't restoring it, but kind of having fun with it. Even that, it still needs to be functional. Cause again, you know, a trim piece goes on here, but you need to be able, it needs to be functional at the very least. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it needs to be functional. So that's just not enough steel there to even do anything with. These are rockers. This is one of them anyways. Rockers, obviously, full of holes, full of holes, full of holes. Because the rockers were full of stuff. You know, back over here with the rockers off, uh, those frame rails are just absolutely packed full of mud and mouse droppings and hickory nuts and you name it. Uh, I've been air compressor, power washing to get those things all cleaned out. And I think I finally have. I haven't really done the neutralizing on this side so much. But because I haven't, you can kind of see, too, you got the green overspray and you got primer. Uh, and then there's a bunch of panels that go over here. So you guys have taken these apart before. You know it's not just a sill that goes over here. You got like a panel and a panel and then a sill. So there's a lot going on on these doors, these door sills for Hudson. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, the inside of the car is pretty solid. Uh, I, I'm going to do something kind of fun. Oh, the, the doors too. The doors aren't bad, but the doors just the doors aren't dented or banged up or rotted. But again, they have this deep pitting surface rust stuff that I don't know how to fix. So if you guys have any ideas on how to fix these these pitting things other than this rusted capsulator, I would appreciate it. And that just about does it for the 51.